Ever felt like your AI coding assistant incredibly smart, but also kind of stuck in a box? It can write code, answer questions, but what if it could actually interact with your world, your Jira, your custom tools? Well, what if I told you there's a way to break down those walls? A way to give your AI assistant the keys to the kingdom, allowing it to become a true active partner in your development workflow. Today, we're diving deep into some something called MCP, the Model Contact Protocol. And trust me, this is a game changer. Hey, Code Wizards, I'm Jesse Anglin, and welcome to Rapid Innovation, where we explore the cutting edge of developer tools and tech. If you're ready to unlock the full potential of AI in your coding life, you're in the right place. Stick around, because by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to set up and use MCP servers in VS Code to make GitHub Copilot and other LLMs insanely more more power. Why should you even care about MCPs? Imagine Copilot not just suggesting code, but creating pull requests, updating Jira tickets, running local scripts, or even searching your company's private knowledge base. MCPs can help automate those tedious tasks that involve multiple tools. By giving the LOM access to real-time data from your tools, suggestions and actions become far more relevant and accurate. And the best part, this isn't a proprietary lock-in. MCP is an open protocol, meaning the community can build and share connectors for any tool. Okay, let's demystify MCP. Think of it like a universal translator for LLMs and your tools. Right now, your LLM, like the one powering Copilot, speaks its own language. Your GitHub has its API, Figma has its API, your local file system has its own way of being accessed. They're all speaking different dialect. MCP provides a standardized protocol, a common set of rules and formats that allows the LLM to say, hey, I need to provide perform this action with these parameters. And then on the other side, you have MCP servers. These are small applications or services that understand the MCP protocol and know how to talk to a specific tool. So there's a GitHub MCP server that takes the LLM standardized request and translates it into actual GitHub API calls. There could be a file system MCP server, a Google Drive MCP server, you name it. So the key components are the LLM, the model context protocol itself and the MCP servers, which are the tool connectors execute requests. These servers can run on your local machine, giving the LLM access to your environment. This means your LLM doesn't need to know the intricate details of every single API out there. It just needs to know how to speak MCP. So where do you find these magical MCP servers? First place to check is the official model context protocol GitHub organization. I'll link it down below, of course. Here you'll find the core documentation, the protocol specification itself, and importantly, a repository called servers. This is a treasure map. It lists reference servers maintained by the community and the MCP team. You'll see things like file system, Git, GitHub, which we'll focus on, Google Drive, Slack, and many more. There are also community-driven servers for tools like Airtable, Azure, and even the Ghost. The beauty is if a server doesn't exist for your favorite tool, you or or someone in the community can build one. All right, let's get practical. How do we use these in VS Code? First of all, open your VCode, head over to the marketplace and install the following GitHub Copilot, GitHub Copilot chat, GitHub code spaces. These are already installed on my PC, but they're easy to install, just a few clicks. Now we'll check if your GitHub integration is working properly. Open the chat panel in VS Code and type at if you see GitHub in the list, that means the integration is working correctly. Next, let's install an MCP server. For this tutorial, we'll use Time MCP. Here's a quick walkthrough. Create a new workspace in VS Code. Add a file named MCP. In your terminal, run the following command. PIP install MCP server time. This installs the server using Python. You can also use Docker if you prefer. Once installed, go to the top search bar in VS Code and search for show configuration. This will display your MCP file. Now, update the configuration section for the time MCP serve. Make sure to replace the example time zone with your own time zone. After saving the configuration, let's test the setup. Go to the chat panel and ask the time MCP server convert 930 
a mad Tokyo time to New York time. Within seconds, you'll get the correct conversion and that's it. Your time MCP server is up and running. The possibilities are truly endless. Imagine the workflows you could build. MCP, the model context protocol is like a universal translator, allowing LLMs to talk to your tools. MCP servers are the connectors that implement this protocol for specific tools like GitHub, Time, or your own custom services. You can easily configure these in VS Code's settings code to give GitHub Copilot new superpowers. Always be mindful of security, especially with personal access tokens. And you can even build your own MCP servers to integrate any tool you can imagine. This is just the beginning of making our AI assistants truly integrated and active participants in our development. We've gone from asking for code snippets to commanding actions across our entire tool chain. What do you think? Are you excited about the potential of, of MCPs? What's the first MCP server you're going to try or even build? Let me know in the comments below. If this video blew your mind and you learned something new, do me a huge favor and smash that like button. It really helps the Rapid Innovation channel. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on more deep dives into the future of coding. For more resources, check out all the links in the description. I'm Jesse Anglin for Rapid Innovation. Thanks for watching and happy coding.